Hi everyone, welcome to Jupiter for Data Science by Dan Toomey, a video course by Pact Publishing. I'm Doug Stevens and I'll be the voiceover artist for this course. Dan Toomey has been developing applications for over 20 years. He has worked in a variety of industries and companies of all sizes, in roles from sole contributor to VP CTO level. For the last 10 years or so, He's been contracting companies in the Eastern Massachusetts area under Dan Toomey Software Corporation. Dan has also written R for Data Science and Learning Jupiter with Pact Publishing. Let's take a look at what we've got in store. Section 1, Jupiter Concepts, covers the details of the Jupiter user interface, what objects it works with, and what actions can be taken by Jupiter. We'll see what the display tells us about the data what tools are available, and some real-life examples from the industry showing R and Python coding. Section 2, Optimizing Jupyter Notebooks, deploys your notebook so that others can access it. It shows optimizations you can make to increase your notebook's performance. Then, we look at securing the notebook and the mechanisms of sharing it. Section 3, Working with Analytical Data on Jupyter, covers using Python, NumPy, Pandas, and SciPy functions for in-depth computations of results. The section goes further into Pandas and explores manipulating data frames. Lastly, it shows examples of sorting and filtering data frames. Section 4, Data Visualization and Prediction, demonstrates prediction models from Python and R under Jupyter. Then, it uses matplotlib for data visualization and interactive plotting. Lastly, we generate a 3D plot in Jupyter. Section 5, Data Mining and SQL Queries, covers Spark Context. We show examples of using Hadoop Map Reduce and use SQL with Spark Data. Then, we combine data frames, operate on the resulting set, import JSON data, and manipulate it with Spark. Lastly, we look at using a pivot to gather information about a data frame. Section 6, R with Jupyter, covers setting up R to be one of the engines available for a notebook. Then, we use some rudimentary R to analyze voter demographics for a presidential election and trends in college admissions. Finally, we look at using a predictive model to determine whether some flights would be delayed or not. Section 7, Data Wrangling, teaches reading in CSV files and performing some quick analysis of the data, including visualizations to help understand the data. Lastly, we look into using the tidy R package to clean up or tidy up our data. Section 8, Jupyter Dashboards, covers visualizing data graphically using glyphs to emphasize important aspects of the data. We use Markdown to annotate a notebook page and Shiny to generate an interactive application. Section 9, Statistical Modeling, teaches converting a JSON file to a CSV file. We use R to perform a similar evaluation of Yelp business ratings, finding very similar distributions of the data. Section 10, Machine Learning Using Jupyter, covers several machine learning algorithms in both R and Python to compare and contrast. We use naive bays to determine how the data might be used. Finally, we use a random forest algorithm to do the same. These would be the prerequisites of the course. We're using the Mac OS to demonstrate an example because the dependency of JupyterHub packages are not stable in Windows and Linux. We are using Ubuntu 16 to demonstrate an example because the Sparks packages does not have the correct built-in tools for Windows. This course takes you through a number of practical solutions covering a wide range of topics you need to know about Jupyter for Data Science. So, what are we waiting for? Let's begin this journey.